What up team? It's your boy Griff here. You know the goddamn deal. It was raining out, that's why I got the hoodie on. But now it's like sunny, it's gonna be like 80 degrees out, so we gotta get outside and do a workout in. But more importantly, today is not just about fitness. It's about fashion. It's about style. It's about getting the, one of the coolest pair of sneakers I've ever seen in the world. And now they're dropping today. I'm on the Adidas app, but I'm on this screen right here. Bam, easy foam runners. I know everyone says they're ugly. You're stupid for liking them. You're stupid. All right, no, I'm kidding. But seriously team, come on. How can you hate on those things? Look at those. It looks like alien feet. But in a way, it's really cool. So this whole session, will I get the sneakers or not? That's the question. Will I hit on the Adidas app? Probably not. Maybe I'll get them on there at the end of the day. We might even just go get them for resale after this. Team, we're gonna keep it rocking and rolling. We'll see what happens next. All right, team. We're gonna do a cool edit where I get changed like this. Bam, team. New outfit right here. What we got going on is the Viore tank top, even though they just came out with a new line and we might have to do a whole day shopping at Viore because that stuff is on point. We just got some basic Lulu shorts right here. The Nike Metcons, which I like them, beat them up a little bit too much. And I want to test out the new Nanos. So that's a cool training sneaker. Everyone knows this is probably my favorite. Yes, these are $320, but I'm gonna say it right here. They're worth every penny, team. They're cool. You don't really see too many people wearing them, and it's not a hype sneaker, because you can anyone can go buy it. A hype sneaker is if like you can't, I would just say a hype thing is if you can't get it and you have to pay resale for it. This one, you don't really have to pay resale. So, sneaker of the year, maybe. But APL, you gotta cut the check. All right, it's too nice out. I want to bring a cardio machine out there. We'll get the blood flowing. Maybe do some running. You know, I got to get my myelin. So let's figure out how I will. Nothing worse than jumping out into a workout without warming up properly. And I mean warming up properly in the sense of your warm up should be about 15 minutes where we do basic blood flow. You'll see it. I'll get the PVC pipe, do some shoulder work hip mobility, lower back and hamstrings. And again, you've seen in my current video, if you didn't, check that out. But we do a full bandit. Ooh, here comes the sun right there. Yeah. We do a full bandit warm up where we're doing upper back. And then we do the glutes, the knees. And then we do that lateral walk again. And you know, you're ready to go after that. Sometimes we do a plank hold, get the core activation. Or we just do a dead hang. And that's really good for the lower back as well you know you just want to be primed for anything so where you rock and roll today today's full body push again I go into every day and every workout where I really don't know what I'm gonna do today I have some goals you know I kind of know what I want to do or what I haven't attacked yet and so haven't done the concept 2 bike in a little bit so I'm thinking a big cardio flush with the concept 2 bike if you haven't seen this bike before, this one's a jam. The assault bike, it's a little aggressive, but you can really hammer it down on this bike. And uh, it's more of a quad pump. It's more outside traditional biking. If you're a fan of that, get one of these and really just crush it. Concept 2, they kill it. They have the skier and the rower. And now with this, if you have the trio of that, that's all you need for a home gym. Because you can always do a run outside but my favorite thing to run on is the assault runner which we'll get when the gym opens up all right let's go get the pvc pipe let's show you what a real warm-up is the necessities team right here start out with pvc pipe go to your local home depot go get some pvc pipe usually it's like legit twice the size of this Tom's just cut in half let's go show you how it's done pvc pipe passers keep the arms locked out what you want to do is you want to go all the way back here, try to hit that lower back, and then come all the way forward. Try to keep a full grip on the PVC pipe the whole time. Try to bang out 10 of these, all the way back, all the way forward. You can't go all the way back, just hit that sticking point wherever it is, and then come right back to forward. 10 of these, and then I do 10 good mornings. Again, this is really good for the shoulders. 
a lot of people, if you're working at a desk or whatever, and you feel like your shoulders are tight, and you're like concave, you just gotta open it up more. So more pulling exercises, but then more range of motion. So the PVC pipe is on my back. I'm gonna show you the good morning now. PVC pipe on the back, what I wanna do now is just drop the shoulders, slight bend with the knees, pressure on the heels, and then come right back up there. This is just a feel good movement right here. You really wanna feel in the hamstrings and then the lower back. Now anyone can crush these at any point in the day, and everyone usually has. Tight hamstrings, I would say. And so this is just a feel good one too. Let's get five more of these. Now we're gonna go band above the knee. You wanna get, we might put these online. We were really a big fan of these, the lightning bolt edition. We only have these at the Heroes locations. We might put them online. Squat band, honestly, one of the strongest squat bands I've ever used. Put this on the knee, and now what we're gonna do for the bandit warm up, you want a thick band, one of these right here. And now you wanna do is you wanna double strand it, keep the arms locked out here pull all the way into the shirt, and then come back into that straight line. You wanna go 15 right here. Nice and slow. Feel the pull in the back of your shoulder muscles right here. Good, and then you're gonna cross it out, all right? So you're gonna keep those arms locked out, and you're gonna pull all the way into the shirt, and then come back into that straight line. Good, cross it out again. All right, and then on your next day, because I do this every day, you go to an underhand grip and eventually you'll just get stronger bands. But now what we got going on here is we have that squat band above the knee. What I want to focus on is just some squats here, right? So pressure on the outside of the heels, butt back first, and then kicking the knees out. This band has saved my knees. It's built all the muscle around it so I don't have to wear knee sleeves anymore. I used to have pain while running and squatting. Now, this stuff has gone away just from doing a proper warm up and building those smaller muscles. So we do 15 of these, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stay low. Now I'm just gonna go for a quarter, be in a quarter squat here, and I'm just doing a lateral walk, all right? Take it slow so you feel the tension, and let's go right back. You should be feeling it in the glutes here. Always try to stay low, and then keep the feet wide apart. What you don't wanna see is let the feet touch at all, all right? Warm up's done, you know the deal, I gotta get a run in. So, we gotta get the whiteboard out though, because it's not official unless I write it down. That solves this issue. Not the whiteboard. You gotta do what you gotta do, team. Rain outside. I'm already soaking wet. And this is my only workout shirt today, so we'll go on the treadmill. Nobody call me out for not running the rain. I've ran, I've, I've ran in the snow before. That was good. Whew. That was all quads. The breathing wasn't too crazy on that. You'll probably check the heart rate. It just, you had to keep a steady pace throughout. In the beginning, the heart rate was up because you could push the runs and not really feel it in the quads. But once that bike erg got over like 1K, you know, that's a game changer. And if you don't have a bike erg, what you could do is you do that with rower or whatever. But I'm saying like, if you just have a traditional spin bike, Start out 30 seconds and then add every 30 seconds onto that until you hit eight runs and then 30 times eight, whatever that is, of minutes. And really push the pace on that spin bike. Team, good workout. We gotta do a little strength then, all right? So we'll do some shoulder strength, show you guys how it's done. You don't need machines to get your shoulders going. Dwight Howard shoulders. 
but let's get that rock and rolling and then we'll come back out and I'm feeling some push press and then some sleds on the cement. It's possible. Draw started. Team, what do you think? Oh. Really want these. Fingers crossed for me, team. All right, let's get some shoulders in. Whew. All right, team. Ceilings aren't too high in Heroes Wellesley. I can't do a standing shoulder press with a barbell. Like, I can touch that ceiling. So, what we're gonna rock and roll with is seated shoulder press. Still affected, still get the barbell. It's just a lot more requirement on the core. All right, you know I like to do supersets, team. And I wanna be a little athletic here. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna do a, stand, a sitting military press. And then I'm thinking, some high pulls. All right, let's get a rock and roll. Yeah, so we'll do probably eight, seven, add a little more weight, six, and then probably do one set of five. Super set, those high pulls, that's the athletic move. Full body, but it's a lot of shoulders. And we're gonna do, because it's going super heavy on those, just six. Monday was hang squat clean and I think I might go power today and do hang power snatch just work with on speed power and this is gonna be the I call it the shoulder Olympic lift and you're gonna punch up with that and the killer will be super set with the weighted dip all right this will be a good one and then we'll just do a burner to finish it out team Scenes, time to live my dreams, do the things deep inside of me This life that continues, we're fighting me But I don't have quitting inside of me I will not jump in these boxes, they throwing me Talking to God and there's so much he's showing me Shaping me, growing me, taking me sowing seeds A growing tree, y'all get a load of me Yeah, don't let them slow on me I get the bad like a grocery I'm on my ground like I'm supposed to be And I do not care if you notice me We got some new trainer merch. Pretty pumped up about that. And then everyone loved the custom blue hoodies we did on pre-order where I allowed people to do a little more on the pre-order. And I can keep that rocking team, honestly. We have these baby blue hoodies that we did a special with. Kind of like Kanye-esque, I call it. And it's a great hoodie, that's all I can say. Any wise words for the YouTubers out there? Just follow what this guy is doing and you're gonna get better, that's for sure. Oh. I like that. Usually it's Matty Ice, but I'll take it. Here's in the robbery, here's in the sky if you got a dream. Learn nothing was blocking me. I was the problem, the only one stopping me. I didn't like it, I had to refocus. Now I'm devoted, I know where I'm going. Controlling emotions, I'm owning the moment. In order to get it, see, you gotta want it. This type of flow make a living break. Confessors over these 808. Don't well, keep on the key, better stay away. I mean, for heaven's sake. I'ma be the best, came from the endless. Playing with the games, pissing with the chest. Be beating on my chest, trying to get my rest. Watch me while I flex. Every win is a blessing, and every L is a lesson. So when I run into rejection, I know it's all in redirection. Whoo! This is life right here. That was a perfect way to end it. So happy I went unbroken on the push press. It's nice. You give yourself that rep scheme 
and the weight to know you can go unbroken, but it's gonna be challenging. You know, if you have those days to break it up, don't be too hard on yourself. But if you can go unbroken and it's challenging, just be that much more proud of yourself. Sled press, sled push, can't even speak. When going down, easy. It's like a, it's sneaky. And then coming back up, there's, there's a game changer. On the first round, I was like, ooh, maybe I went too light on the way down. Coming back though, legs are fired up. Heart rate was jacked. Honestly, perfect combo. We did that long endurance piece in the beginning, and then we did that short sprint on the end. So really hitting both aerobic capacities, anaerobic and aerobic, and team, we gotta give it some food. Protein shake, food, Let's see how the new merch looks for the trainers. We got a lot of stuff to do. Well, we just found out, I went to take a number two, and I was gone oh, for a hot geez. minute. <laughs> My clients were leaving. My brand new, it was Duncan, and I'm not a fan of Duncan, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes for coffee. It was sitting on my desk. I get out and the coffee's gone. And somebody took your coffee? Someone took my cold brew. But I think we know who it is. We know who it is and we understand the concept of it. I thought it was just them being complete no, not I nice people about it. But if they thought, Matty Ice offered them cold brew, so. I was going to Starbucks though. I didn't say I was going to Dunkin'. Yeah, Bucks. that's an interesting one right there. So Matty Ice was leave, walking past them saying, hey, does anyone want a coffee? They request the coffee and Matty Ice comes back. Just for a different kind of cold brew. But I mean, if Matty Ice is offering them Starbucks coffee, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. That is a good deal. Right? But on my, but on my coffee Dunkin'. end, <laughs> It was a Dunkies one though. Did on they the see desk. you walk back with a Starbucks? Uh, they were inside when I got back. Yeah, see, so there you chip. go. There you go, team. We found out. That's an interesting one right there. We'll find out tomorrow and we'll ask. Them. That's what you gotta call it. It's basically what it is. Yeah. It feels yeah. good though. Yeah, but if you turn that on in the middle of winter, and... <laughs> just freeze like, your well, jaw off. <laughs> No, yeah. I was like in a, a, a passenger. The thing will be inverted. Shrivel. Yeah. Shrinkage. It's what they call it shrinkage. You know what shrinkage is, Bob? Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going into, you know, like the ice cold ocean or something like that, that's probably what <laughs> happened to. What would happen? Hey, man. <laughs> there might be some shrinkage. I don't know. There might be shrinkage. Well, 100%. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Not to mention that if you're rocking like a. You're non-shrinkage in that. Though. Can't avoid it. Drop it down in the comments. Is it a good idea? Should I get a bike or not? Save on gas, but do you save your life, Bob? Yeah. So team, what we got going on is every mall should have a custom clothing store. So if you ever want quick merch, and you like the material of something, always come by one of these stores. It's in the mall in Massachusetts, pretty much every mall. Come by, they do like screen printing and all that other stuff. So let's go check it out. Gear's nice team. We'll do a full sizing video, but we gotta be on the go here. We gotta eat some grub. Bam team, we got some new Heroes merch. We're always gonna test it out on the trainers. So we got going on here. I like it, it's, what I did was I got a thicker tank top before and it wasn't a crowd pleaser. So now we're gonna show off a little more of the shoulders right there. It's long enough and it has a little extra length right here. Just in the bottom, I mean, it's a solid fit. Hugs the sides a little bit, shows off the shoulders, gets the back gains on there. We got this in three colors, our dark blue, light gray and dark gray. Let's see the next short sleeve shirt. Uh, next shirt we got here is just a dry sleeve, short sleeve. And again, I'm always looking at to make sure it's long enough where you don't want like the boxy shirts. You want them long and fitted, hugs the sides a little bit, tapered on the shoulders right there and then it's nice and snug on the chest. Not too tight on the arms because it's not Jersey Shore days, but just a nice classic fit. 
We might even make this the apparel line team. All right, we got one more thing. Let's see it, it's my favorite one. All right, last thing team, we got my favorite. Everyone loves a hoodie, but you know, it's summertime in mass, so we can't always rock a full hoodie. Now we have ventilation. We got the sleeveless hoodie going on. All comfort right here. Big fat heroes logo in the middle. I mean, team, you can't beat it. We got that nice blue. We got the strings. It's just, it's just so nice. Favorite piece right there. Maybe we should drop it. Should we? Should we not? We'll see. Hey guys, don't be a Get after it today. It's Wednesday. It's midweek. Let's go.